things are about to get hot in Ottawa, Ontario. So I've grabbed some gear to join veteran firefighter Cheryl Hunt. Let's light it up because I'm about to go off limits. Once you are on air, you remain on air. This is a fire dynamics training field. It's one of just a few in Canada. We want you to do a bit of a direct attack on the back. Here, recruits and firefighters don't just put fires out. They get to watch the flames and see what makes them grow. You're going to be taking all of these new recruits into their first fire situation today. What do you want them to take away from that? We never get a chance to sit and just watch fire. We want them to watch the fire develop and grow. We want them to get comfortable in the superheated environment, learn how to monitor their air and just breathe properly. How has understanding the science of fire helped you do your job? So for me, I didn't realize that I didn't understand the environment that I was actually working in until I started to understand what fire is, how it spreads, how it develops. We start things on a small scale. We're learning how smoke can ignite and what elements are needed to control it. When we talk about the fire triangle, we talk about fuel, we talk about heat, we talk about air, and we control some of that. If you take any one of those away, it damps the fire right down. Playing with fire helps Cheryl's team identify things like flashovers and backdrafts, so they know what can happen in an instant. We got flame on the outside because it's too rich on the inside right now, so that's why it's not igniting. Once some of that fuel comes out and that heat kicks in, that's really awesome. That is really cool. It should auto, there you go. So that's why when we talk yeah. about that, that uh, can be so dangerous because we can be making our way down that hallway, be in there for a few minutes. If we're not putting water on that environment, that's what's going to happen. Understanding how fire behaves is step one. Now, the flames get bigger. In this container, the recruits are challenged to control it. If you're at the door after your 360, you open it up and you see fire, hit it. Knock the fire down. Get the water where it's doing all the work, right? Finally, I learn how to use the hose. Knees here under your arm, and you're going to put your hand here. It's heavier than I thought. When pumping water, this hose is nearly 60 kilograms. You're going to do a direct attack in that corner, all the way to the right. Cooling up above your head. <laughs> yeah, I was very impressed. Yeah, Thank you. very impressed. Good job. I can't believe you guys get to do this every day. We, we pinch ourselves every day. Is this really our job? Is yeah, the best job I, in the world? I can't believe it either. And that you're mitigating that when I was hired in 2003, I actually didn't know that women could be firefighters. It was my husband who asked me to try with him. And I actually said to him that, women aren't firefighters, and he told me, well, you could be. When I say it depends, but it really I trained does. and What's never it? looked back. What's the building envelope you're going into? Is cooling? Less than 5% of Canada's firefighters are women, one of the lowest ratios in the world. If a young person out there is watching this, what do you want them to know? I want them to know that they can be a firefighter and they could be anything they want and do any job that they wish to have, even if it was traditionally only occupied by men, that whatever they choose, they are enough 